let us take a few more questions on uh, remote sensing gps and gis uh, the first one is the code based gps receivers are generally used for are they used for vehicle tracking land navigation and trans movement the answer is all of the above that is the code based gps receivers are used for vehicle tracking land navigation and trans movement next question is critical angle of electromagnetic radiation takes place if critical angle these are four options for you and please read them very carefully and try to answer this critical angle of electromagnetic radiation takes place if the answer is the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degree what happens you know the light or the electromagnetic radiation they when the medium changes they refract a bit okay so there is a there is a refraction angle which by which they they actually uh, refract and once this refraction angle is equal to 90 degree then it will not reflect uh, refract but it will reflect so angle of refraction if it is equal to 90 degree about that that is called a critical angle so it is going to reflect gps space segment consists of navigation satellite timing and ranging whose number is gps we are talking about navstar gps and the answer is 24 this is american gps so of course the navstar stands for navigational uh, satellite and ranging only so this uh, space segment consists of 24 satellites though there are more but uh, you know at a time at a particular instance 24 are always active next question is pick up the correct statement from the following these are four options for you these are about uh, uh, various various aspects like aerial photography so you have to pick up the correct answer please read them very carefully and try to answer which is the correct one the answer is all of the above because for the same feature the photograph taken from satellite vertically above the aircraft the height displacement is lesser than the aerial photograph okay satellite and aerial photograph the scale of the aerial photograph depends upon the scale of the topography this is also true and the feature at the principal point has no height displacement it is the height displacement is actually zero at the principal point the scale of the topography of regions at higher elevation with the same flying height is larger than the area of lower elevation so the scale also varies so answer is all of the above which one of the following geometric errors of satellite sensors is random geometric errors all these are geometric errors scan skew panoramic distortion earth rotation altitude variation so which are one of the following geometric errors of satellite sensors is random the answer is altitude variation it is random while the earth rotation uh, scan skew panoramic distortion they all are you know they are not random they can be computed easily means once you know that how much uh, it effect, it is going to affect the earth rotation is up with respect to the height of the satellite how it is going to vary so that's that very variation is continuous means it is fixed but altitude variation is random pick up the correct statement from the following these are all option for you and here we are talking about the the wave frequency and amplitude so these are options for you pick up the correct statement from the following the answer is all of the above because frequency is the number of wave crest passing a fixed point in one second so frequency is number of uh, crest or trough passing through a fixed point say so this fixed point in one second and um, frequency of wave is measured in hertz this is one by time that is one by second amplitude of a wave is the crest of its height of the crest from the point right height of the crest or a trough the square square of the amplitude the square of the amplitude is proportional to the energy transported by the wave okay the square of the amplitude because the intensity is directly proportional to amplitude as well as frequency so all of these are correct earth observations from a satellite platform provides earth observation from a satellite platform provides these are the options for you and you need to answer one of these or d1 because synoptic view of a large area you can get it from satellite platform constant solar uh, solar zenith angles and similar 
uh, illumination conditions and also repetitive observation of the same area with intervals of say few minutes to few weeks you can get it from a satellite platform and this is what we call as earth observation now the next question is due to scan geometry of a satellite, uh, satellite sensor due to the scan geometry of a satellite sensor the scan can be you know along track off track so there are various options this is sec square theta okay now you need to answer the correct option due to the scan geometry of a satellite sensor what happens the answer is the off nadir resolution is degraded means if this is the satellite this is the nadir then the points here that is the point which are off nadir the resolution is degraded and the ground distance swept by the sensor in this ifov instantaneous uh, field view is uh, proportional to sec square theta where theta is the angle of scan measured from the from the nadir the details towards the edge of a scan edge of the scan will get compressed so these three that is all of these are correct a time varying electric field produces a magnetic field is this correct uh, well, well, this is correct of course now you have to tell the phenomena that a time varying electric field will also produce the magnetic field the answer is ampere maxwell law ampere maxwell law which one of the following quantities forms the basis of radiometry these are options for you basis of radiometry the answer is all of them radiant energy radiant flux radiant intensity and radiance all of these are the basis of radiometry next is uh, the maximum sun's radiation occurs around maximum sun's radiation these are the four options for you the answer is 0.55 micrometer this is the 0.55 micrometer wavelength all these are micrometers pick up the correct statement from the following these are four options for you and uh, these are about the polarizing angle and others also are there so you need to answer them the answer is all of the above because the minimum frequency of light for which no electrons are emitted is called the threshold frequency first of all and polarizing angle of glass is 57 degree 57.5 degree at the polarizing angle the reflected and refracted rays are orthogonal that is 90 degree so the answer d is correct all of these are correct next question for you is you have to pick the correct statement from these correct statement these are about the refractive index etc so please read them very carefully and try to answer them correct statement the answer is all of these because the refractive index of a medium varies according to the wavelength wavelength represented by lambda of the radiation you might have seen the snell's law the variation of refractive index with wavelength is called the dispersion and the splitting of colors of white light by a prism is called is caused due to dispersion so all these options are correct which one of the following attribute is not associated with digital maps color symbology legends or south arrow the answer is south arrow okay why because in this map you see the north arrow not the south arrow the object of photo interpretation or photo photo interpretation is these are the options for you the object of photo interpretation is identification or objective of objective of uh, photo interpretation is identification recognition of objects and judging the significance of objects so all of these are correct next question for you is pick up the correct statement from the following and uh, these are the options for you let us see whether all are correct or not or any variations there the answer is all of these because the first man made satellite sputnik was launched in 4th october on 4th october 1957 united states explorer 6 transmitted the first picture of the earth in august 1959 Tyros that is television infra red observation satellite designed by uh, or designed for meteorological observations started systematic earth observation from space from 1st april 1960 and usa's highly secret mission corona started collecting 
the uh, photography, intelligence photography in 1960. So all of these are correct. Now which one of the following statement is correct? These are four options for you. This is W m to the power minus 2. Okay. So which of these are correct? You have to read them very carefully and try to find out the odd one out or you know it can be E also. So the answer is E. Why? Because the radiant energy they are expressed in Joule. This is the energy associated with the electromagnetic radiation. The rate of transfer of radiant energy is called the flux, the rate of transfer of radiant energy. And because uh, this is the rate of transfer, so it is now in watts. The radiant energy which falls upon a surface is termed as irradiance. The radiant energy which falls away from the surface is called the radiant excitance and is measured in this unit. Now the next question is DGPS, differential GPS. It is based on the concept that bias errors in the position of location in a given local area are same if their distances are within. These are options for you. The answer is this kilometer, right? This is the answer of DGPS. Next is the reflectance from the surface is called specular reflection if it follows which law? The answer is Snell's law. The reflectance from a surface is called specular reflection if it is, it is following the Snell's law. That is mu1 sin theta1 is equal to mu2 sin theta2. The changes in the reflectivity and emissivity with time. The changes in the reflectivity or you can say emissivity, emissivity with time is called as this temporal variation because time is involved. According to the Snell law, if the electromagnetic wave is incident in a medium, say N1, on an another medium, was incident in a medium, with uh, N1 and reflective, reflective index, other is, uh, this is N2, then what is correct? The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction or the angle of refraction is given by, you know, we can just take N1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2. The answer is both of these. Okay. Next question is phyto. Uh, these are the options for you. You have to choose the correct one. So you need to read about this phytoplankton. Right. The, this is a uh, pigment. So you will be coming across it when you are reading about the leaves etc. So please read them carefully and answer the best one. The answer is the an increase of phytoplankton decrease the back uh, scattering in the green region. So phyt uh, phytoplankton it will affect the back striking of the in the green region back scattering. Which one of the following factors does not affect the scale of the air photograph? These are four options for you which which is not of, uh, affecting the scale scale of the air photograph scale is uh, the ratio of the actual length divided by the length in the or the measurement in the photograph so this is the scale so the answer is none of these okay the next question is while propagating through homogeneous isotropic media these are the options for you. Can you answer this? Directions of both the fields are orthogonal while propagating through homogeneous isotropic media and both the fields are at right angles to the direction of propagation. So both A and B are true. So these were a few more questions on remote sensing and related topics. We will be covering more. Till then, thank you so much. Take care.